Owen. Oh, uh, hey. Um, hi. Sorry, uh, just weren't what I was expecting. So. What were you expecting? I don't know. When you're talking to people online, you just never know, right? So, um, so I was thinking maybe we could go to a, a pub or something. Why don't we go back to my place? Uh, okay. Sure. Drink? Uh, yeah, sure. Champagne, all right? Uh, you know, like a Coors Light? No. Oh. Yeah, I guess champagne's fine. You don't look like uh, someone who does this kind of thing. Neither do you. Do you do this a lot? You're my first. Really? You don't look nervous. Who says I'm not? <clears throat> oh, yeah. What do you do for work, Owen? I deliver pizzas. Hmm. Do you like it? Yeah, it's not hard or nothing. I mean, it gives me a lot of personal time. And what do you do in your personal time? I like hockey. I like watching it. I like playing it. Oh, so an athlete. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. And um, how long have you been married for? Well, um, like eight, maybe nine years. And you sure you want to go through with this? What? Is there some kind of test or something? I'm a service provider, Owen. And to give you the best possible service, I thought it might be helpful to understand why you've hired me. Um, uh, uh, I feel trapped. I've, I've felt trapped for a long time. Have you considered a divorce? I can't. Why not? We're Catholic. And how does she feel about you? Oh, uh, she hates me. She tells you that? No. Then how do you know? Because she's mean to me. She's not mean to anyone else, but she's mean to me. How does she mean to you? She talks down to me. She calls me names. What does she call you? Lots of stuff. Like, uh, Bughead. That's her personal favorite. I'm so sorry. That sounds very hurtful. Can I ask you questions? Certainly. Is your name really Jill? No, okay, of course not. Um, why did you get into this line of work? It's lucrative and requires the ability to turn off your feelings. And I've always been pretty good at that. Kind of like a light switch, on, off. But what if you feel something? I won't. But what if you do? I won't. On, off. Okay, so how do we do this? You're the boss, you tell me. How do you want to do it? Um, well, um, I want it to be quick. Okay. I don't want it to hurt. That can be arranged. I don't know. Maybe like a car bomb or something. That's a bit extravagant. Poison will likely be the best option. There are nerve agents on the black market. Not quite like what you see the Russians using in the news, but they're quick and effective. You all right? <clears throat> yeah, just talking about this is making me feel like I'm having a heart attack. You don't have to worry, Owen. 
I'll take care of everything. Now, is there a time when your wife will be home alone? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, league nights on Sundays. So she'll be alone then? Yeah, her and the baby, yeah. You have a child. A daughter. How old? Like, I don't know, like four months or something. And what about her? No, don't kill her, she's a baby. I mean, how do you feel about her, your daughter? She's all right, I guess. I mean, she doesn't do much. She just lays around shitting. And what will happen to her once your wife's gone? Her parents will take care of her. They don't like me much. So I think she's better off without me. And what will you do once your wife's gone? Uh, deliver pizzas, play hockey. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, I should be going. Well, wait, wait, wait. Um, <clears throat> what happens next? I do the job. Okay, but, but um, do you give me a call when it's done? No. Uh, uh, do I get a contact number or something? No. Well, what, what, what if you don't go through with it? Do I strike you as being unreliable? No, yeah, but you said this was your first time. What if you get chicken or something? You know, I thought I might. When your wife hired me to kill you, I did have my reservations. You, you talked to my wife? I responded to a personal ad she wrote. Then, only a few days later, I see another one, just like hers. Fewer words, smaller words, but the same idea. So I thought it must be a sign. <sighs> My wife hired you. And in your defense, she does seem like a total bitch. You two were really made for each other, both looking for an easy way out, both remarkably uncreative. What, did you two watch the same episode of Dateline? No, I mean, listen to a podcast. A podcast? That's actually my second guess. <sighs> I do think your daughter will be better off without you. No, it's not. The, the room's in your name. You can't leave me here. It's been prepared for. It's not. You can't help me. Help me! Goodbye, Owen. You were right, you know. I did feel something. Help me! Help me!